Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into one of the most important and fascinating warships in the Philippine Navy, the BRP Artemio Ricarte, hull number PS37. This Jacinto-class corvette has been sailing the nation's waters for years, and it continues to stand as a symbol of strength, modernization, and maritime security. In this detailed review, we'll explore its design, weapons, performance, and of course, take a close look at its interior design to understand how the crew lives and operates onboard. By the end of this breakdown, you'll see why the Artemio Ricarte plays such a vital role in protecting the Philippines' maritime interests. The first thing that strikes you when looking at the Artemio Ricarte is its sharp and functional exterior. At over 62 meters in length and displacing more than 700 tons, this vessel is not the largest ship in the Navy, but it has a commanding presence. The design carries a mix of speed, agility, and endurance, tailored for coastal defense and patrol missions. Unlike bigger frigates or destroyers, this corvette is built to be quick and flexible, able to move fast and respond to threats in littoral zones. Its hull form and silhouette reflect its origins as part of the Peacock-class corvettes originally built for the Royal Navy in the 1980s, which were later transferred to the Philippines. Despite its age, upgrades and modernization have kept it relevant in today's demanding maritime environment. One of the standout features of the Artemio Ricarte is its main gun, the Odo Malara 76mm naval cannon. This versatile weapon can engage surface threats, aircraft, and even incoming missiles with the right ammunition. It fires rapidly and with precision, giving the corvette a serious punch against various types of targets. For secondary armament, the ship carries machine guns and light weapons that can be used for close-range defense, including against fast-attack craft. While it doesn't have the heavy missile systems of larger warships, the Artemio Ricarte still packs enough firepower to deter and defend against regional threats. Supporting this arsenal are its radar and sensor systems, which are the eyes and ears of the ship. Over the years, the Corvette has been modernized with upgraded electronics that allow it to detect, track, and engage threats more efficiently. The radar provides coverage for both air and surface targets, while communication systems ensure coordination with other Navy assets and command centers. In a region where maritime security is constantly challenged by piracy, smuggling, and territorial disputes, this situational awareness is as important as the firepower itself. Speed is another key element of the Artemio Ricarte. Powered by reliable engines, the ship can reach speeds of over 25 knots, making it quick to respond to fast-changing situations at sea. This mobility is crucial for patrol missions, search and rescue operations, and rapid redeployment when tensions rise in contested waters. Despite being over three decades old, the ship's performance at sea is still impressive, thanks to careful maintenance and modernization programs carried out by the Philippine Navy. Now let's move to one of the most interesting parts of this review. Interior Design Inside the BRP Artemio Ricarte, the design is simple yet highly functional. This is not a luxury cruise ship, but a working warship where every space is carefully utilized. The crew's living quarters are compact, with bunk beds stacked to save space. Each sailor has limited personal room, but there's enough to rest, store essentials, and stay ready for duty. The office's quarters are slightly more spacious, designed to provide privacy and an environment where planning and decision-making can happen without distractions. The heart of the ship's operations lies in the Combat Information Center, CIC. This darkened room is filled with screens, radar displays, and communication equipment. Here, the crew monitors the surrounding seas, tracks possible threats, and directs the ship's weapons systems. The CIC is where the tactical brain of the ship operates, and during high alert situations, it becomes the busiest and most critical space on board. Moving to the bridge, this is where the ship is commanded and navigated. The layout is practical, with modernized equipment combined with older systems that still function reliably. From the captain's chair, the commanding officer has direct visibility of the seas ahead and can give quick orders to the helmsman and crew. The bridge also serves as a symbol of the blend between heritage and modernization, a reminder of the ship's Royal Navy roots but also of its current role under the Philippine flag. For day-to-day -day life, the mess hall provides meals and a space for camaraderie among the sailors. While not luxurious, the environment helps maintain morale and teamwork, which are vital when spending weeks at sea. Storage rooms, 
engineering compartments, and maintenance areas are spread throughout the vessel, all designed with efficiency in mind. Every part of the ship serves a purpose, from ensuring combat readiness to keeping the crew sustained during long missions. Beyond the interior, it's important to talk about the symbolic value of this corvette. The BRP Artemio Ricarte is not just a machine of war, it represents the resilience and determination of the Philippine Navy. Despite limited resources compared to larger regional powers, the Navy has invested in upgrades and modernization to keep its fleet capable and reliable. Ships like the Artemio Ricarte form the backbone of maritime defense, ensuring that Philippine waters are secure from illegal activities and external threats. From joint exercises with allied nations to actual patrol missions in contested areas, this corvette has proven its worth time and again. Its presence at sea acts as both a shield and a message, a shield against those who would test the Philippine sovereignty, and a message of readiness and commitment to national defense. In many ways, the Artemio Ricarte is more than just steel and firepower, it is a floating symbol of national pride and vigilance. To wrap up, the BRP Artemio Ricarte PS37 is a warship that may not be the largest or the most modern in Asia, but it carries unmatched importance for the Philippines. With its solid design, dependable firepower, capable radar systems, and practical interior, it remains a cornerstone of the Navy's operational strength. It bridges the gap between tradition and modernization, proving that even ships with decades of service can still play a vital role in safeguarding the seas when properly maintained and upgraded. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the BRP Artemio Ricarte. If you enjoyed this detailed review and want to see more naval and defense-related content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more breakdowns of warships, military technology, and maritime defense strategies. Until next time, this is your host signing off, stay safe and keep watching the seas.